Hello guys, this is the Star Wars Collector back here for another video, and in today's video I am going to be opening Super 7's uh, first wave of the Ultimate Spongebob uh, Squarepants and Sandy Cheeks figures. Uh, now these figures, I don't own too many um, Super 7 like figures. My main thing with Super 7 is Ninja Turtles, and Personally, I'm more of a NECA collector than a Super 7 like Ninja Turtles collector, but I've just like a couple months ago, month or two ago, I started buying the uh, Super 7 Ultimate uh, TMNT figures, and after that, I wanted to get um, the SpongeBob ones. I've been wanting to get them for a while, and I saw they were on sale on Amazon. SpongeBob currently is $35, Sandy is $25. So you can get both Wave 1 figures for the price of what one of them cost originally because these figures are expensive. Originally were $60 for one figure each. And I'm going to wait on Wave 2, which is Patrick and Squidward. I will wait till those get go on sale. But basically what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to open these two figures. I'm going to show some of my other like SpongeBob stuff. Which eventually I want to do a video just talking about like Spongebob merchandise. Just kind of interesting. But for right now we're just going to be taking a look at... Um, to start off the video we're going to look at the figures. So the boxes, Super 7's Ultimate figures always come in these uh, brown boxes. And so it's got the logo, Spongebob Squarepants. And it says Spongebob Squarepants. Ages 14 up. Nickelodeon, Super 7. Then the back just kind of says all of that. And then next we've got this one. It says the same, the title of the show, Sandy Cheeks, ages 14 and up, Nickelodeon, Super 7. Uh, and then back is also pretty much the same. Yeah. And let's get these out of the boxes so I can show you the normal boxes, not the brown boxes that they ship in. Okay, here's what they look like out of the brown box. And these are a lot more um, just cool looking. So basically they all come with a sleeve and it covers everything except for this little area to say the name of the character. So on this one it says SpongeBob SquarePants and then on this one it says Sandy Cheeks. And so basically you just got a portrait of SpongeBob which looks really nice. And you got a picture of Sandy which also looks pretty nice. Kind of looks a little funny though, the Sandy one. But yeah, and uh, you can see the Super 7 logo right there. Right here it says Ultimates, uh, the side, nothing really on the side, some like little more like of the illustration. And then right here it just says SpongeBob SquarePants. And yes, I'm going to be saying that a lot in this video, so get ready for that. Uh, Sandy also has ultimates and then also spongebob right there pretty cool and let's grab these out so sandy i'm going to just move that over there for right now uh, i don't know why i grabbed sandy first but whatever so we'll take a look at those in a second let me grab spongebob one out now too okay so here is both uh figures and these are about, I think, like seven inch figures around, around there. Uh, Super 7, their Ultimates line, they make pretty good um, figures. I like their Ninja Turtle ones, which are based off of Playmates original, like, toys from the 80s, just making them in a seven inch scale. And then these SpongeBob ones are pretty cool. Uh, and then I'm, I was kind of interested in their Simpsons ones. Only thing I'm upset is they didn't release, like, the main, like, they didn't release a normal Homer. They didn't release the whole family. They didn't release normal ones. They did variants, which was weird, but those figures look cool. The crusty one I really like. I don't know if I'm going to get those. I'll probably not because they didn't ever release the whole, like, family. But, yeah, let's get back into this. Uh, these look really uh, nice. The packaging it says Spongebob, Spongebob. You can see it's got like the background kind of like of like the opening of a Spongebob episode. The title card, it's got that, which kind of looks like what would be on there. 
Uh, they've got little bios. SpongeBob SquarePants uh, can usually be found grilling up Krabby Patties at the Krusty Krab, the finest eating establishment ever established for eating. But when the world's most dedicated fry crook isn't at work, you'll find him in his pineapple house with his pet snail Gary or riding fishing hooks with his best pal Patrick. Other times you'll find him working alongside his sourpuss neighbor Squidward or practicing karate with his squirrely pal Sandy Cheeks. No matter what he's up to, SpongeBob's eternally sunny outlook makes even the most ordinary day extraordinary. Pretty cool. And let's read Sandy's bio real quickly as well. Uh, okay, so for Sandy, Sandy Cheeks, she's the only squirrel of her kind with a penchant for thrill-seeking sports like surfing, uh, karate, and weightlifting. She lives under the sea in an air dome. She's Sandy Cheeks, one of SpongeBob's best pals, and SpongeBob loves hanging out with her. Unfortunately, being with Sandy usually entails the need for a crash helmet. And yeah, pretty cool looking. That also says Super 7 X Nintendo, or Nickelodeon, not Nintendo. Speaking of Nintendo, stay tuned for a Mario video that's coming up. But yeah, now these are pretty cool looking and... I could keep talking about the boxes, but let's just start opening them. I think uh, I'm going to start off with Sandy. Why not? So let's move SpongeBob to the side and uh, we'll open Sandy in one second. One thing I want to add um, before I show the figure on the bottom of the figure, it shows uh, Super 7, but then you've got the Nickelodeon. 2022 Viacom, and then you got Steven Hillenberg's autograph, like, printed on there, which is pretty cool, because rest in peace to the creator of Spongebob, and yeah, that's pretty cool. But, uh, let's get into the figure. Here is the figure out of the box, and this looks really good. I really like the look of this. It's a little difficult to stand, but not too bad, and... This just looks perfect to me. Uh, the arms are a little difficult to like move. You can't like... These aren't the most posable figures. Because they're kind of just odd like shaped characters. But this just... This is Sandy right here. It looks awesome. And sadly, I do not know where my... Uh, um, let me grab this. The Squidward right here. This was when I was playing with like Spongebob toys in the late 2000s. Uh, this was made by, I'm pretty sure, let me see, I think Jax? It's a little focus. 2009, Jax, yep, Jax. So, the people who made, like, the Mario and Sonic toys, they were making the Spongebob toys back then. I had all of, like, the characters. I don't know if I had Patrick, but I had Squidward, I had Spongebob, I had Sandy, uh, but sadly, I don't know where they're at, so all I can show right now is Squidward and Gary over there. But Sandy, this Sandy looks really great. Her um, helmet uh, looks nice. Her tail, uh, the tail can move. Let me show you that. Well, yeah, you guys can kind of see it moves. And you can take the tail off if you want to. It was off when you opened it. Uh, but Sandy just looks great. I really like the look of this. She's got the iconic um, jumpsuit or like astronaut looking thing. The boots look nice. Uh, the face is just great. And I really love the helmet. That looks awesome. This is just a really cool looking figure. And I am excited to put SpongeBob next to her when I open him. And let's take a look at her accessories. So first off, let's take a look at her alternate heads. So she's got this more like um, kind of just crazy looking one or like where she's about to like karate chop Spongebob. And I really like this one. This one's a really cool looking one. Both t these two are just really great looking. And then this next one is a cool reference to... Um, the Halloween episode from season one and 
basically she's just got like this goldfish looking thing on the back of her head and then it's supposed to look like a, a pet goldfish which is pretty cool this one's nice but it's such an obscure like reference that i'm not going to use it as much as these two but i do like that they added this because this is just cool to add something that you're not going to see too often in a spongebob um figure and so yeah those are the three heads which i think are all pretty good you got the basic looking face the more like wild one and then you got a cool little um halloween season one reference uh next up we got sandy's rocket or jetpack which is from the episode sandy's rocket another season one episode most of uh her accessories i think all of them are from season one so this can go on her back i'll show you that in a second it's pretty cool looking. Uh, next up, we got her um, karate gloves, which are made of a hollow like plastic. So if you put these on her hand or on her arms, they're not gonna fall. So that's pretty cool. Uh, sadly, SpongeBob doesn't have these, but hopefully they eventually do like an accessory set where you could get um, SpongeBob's red ones and then his helmet. That would be pretty cool. But that's pretty cool. You got Sandy's karate um, gloves. And then that's also from a season one episode. I'm pretty sure it's Karate Chompers. But they appear in a bunch of episodes. And then next up, we've got her hat and her guitar, which is from the episode Texas, which is pretty cool. You also get a um, acorn. Pretty cool. I'm not for sure what episode. This is probably just in a bunch of stuff. Also, it is technically in the Dirty Dan episode. And then this um, whip. I'm not for sure which episode this is. Probably from season one. It could also be in the Texas episode. But I'm. it might have been in the Giant Worm episode as well. I'm not for sure, though. But pretty cool. And I'm going to show now some, like just shots with all of these things and I also forgot to add in she comes with two extra pairs of hands uh two like just neutral looking ones uh kind of just they kind of got this kind of look and then next up we've got these ones with these like holes to they're not holes these things to hold stuff which is pretty cool so this is how you'll be able to hold the whip uh and the acorn all that so now i'm going to show you her with like some of her alternate like heads and all this stuff like on her okay here's her with the karate gloves that looks really nice and you got the alternate face looks like she's about to beat up spongebob really like the look of that one uh next up i'm going to show her with the texas Okay, for this Texas one, we're kind of missing a uh, sad face for Sandy, but that's fine. I'm going to just show the normal face. You got the little cowboy hat, and then you got the guitar, and she's singing her Texas song. Pretty cool. Uh, next up, I'm going to just show you her, like, holding a bunch of just, like, miscellaneous stuff. For this one, it's just a bonkers, like, just mash of all kinds of different accessories. We got Sandy holding the acorn, we got her with the whip, and then her face is the fish one from the Halloween episode, and then she's got her jetpack from Sandy's Rocket, just a mix and match. And yeah, that's pretty cool looking. I am really, uh, like, I am really pleased with this figure. For 25 bucks, this is a steal. And I, I don't think 60s great, um... For these, I think they probably should have just sold for like 40 But if you wait, you can get these on sale, which is what I'm going to do with Patrick and Squidward. But this one I like a lot, and for $25, really good figure, tons of accessories. I think if you guys um, are interested in these figures, go get them on Amazon. $25 for Sandy is really good, and this is just a really cool looking figure. Uh, let's move on to Spongebob. Next up, we've got the one and only Spongebob. 
and this one I'm really excited to get into. Uh, he's got a lot of accessories. I have heard a lot of people complain about this, and I do understand it. He is missing his uh, fry, cro ugh, fry Cook's hat, and that does suck with Squidward and Patrick both coming with it, but hopefully they'll eventually, uh, like if they do an accessory set, they would have that. Uh, but I'm not for sure. We'll see. Also, I think people are upset about a spatula not being included, which this one also includes a spatula, which I feel like definitely the spatula probably should have been included. They should have. it. I think you could have fit his hat and his spatula in this. But other than that, I think this is a really good, um, like just accessories with SpongeBob. But let's open this up and see what I think about all the other accessories. And yeah. Here's Spongebob out of the package. This looks uh, really good. Uh, my only little complaint, and this isn't going to be on everyone's, but there's a couple of paint mess-ups on mine. Very minor is this one on his shirt. The white is a little, there's a little like line of black. Not too bad. The main one that's bothering me is this one on his tooth. Uh, might be a little hard to see, but on his left tooth right there, you guys can see there's yellow showing, which wish it was just white up there. But other than that, uh, this is a pretty good looking sponge. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Now, sadly, I do not have any of my uh, like SpongeBob toys that I used to play with when I was younger to show right now, but... I do have this Super 7 uh, Reaction Spongebob, which pretty cool. Now this one, he comes with his uh, hat and his spatula and a little Krabby Patty. I feel like the main problem I have with Spongebob is like, yeah, I have my couple little paint gripes, but my main thing with Spongebob is not as many accessories compared to Sandy, which I get it, his head is really big. So to include another head is going to, take up space but I feel like he should have came with a Krabby Patty his hat and the spatula with all this other stuff but I got this for almost half off so not too bad but I do feel like they should have added those uh one thing I want to add uh so basically Spongebob is his he's more articulated than sandy interestingly enough like his arms can go like that and they can go a lot more his hands uh he can move i'm trying to show it to you he can move and his like his head moves up you guys can see right there and yeah i don't know how to like completely show it but it's pretty cool uh, i am scared to take this off of the pants like his head off because i'm trying to do it and i'm kind of having struggling with it but while i'm trying to do that or before i do that let's take a look at his accessories so he comes with gary i feel like they might have made gary a little too big uh sadly my gary's got a little paint thing on his eye uh not too bad though gary looks pretty nice just feel like they probably did him a little too big. Let me show you my Gary from the Jax toy line back in like 09. Pretty cool. And this one you guys can see he's got his shoes. Because this, um, you can take the shoes off. Uh, I don't want to lose that. But he had a little like right here. And you could put him in like Spongebob's like room. And he'd be sitting on the floor, or you could put him on those, which is a reference to the season two episode, the sh tying your shoes, when SpongeBob doesn't know how to tie his shoes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But this Gary is pretty nice. Maybe a little too big though, but it's cool. You got to have a Gary with SpongeBob. Uh, then you got Gary's bowl, which is also really nice and looks cool. He's got some food in there. I like that. Uh, next up. SpongeBob's got um, a jelly fishing net, which is pretty cool. I really like this one. This is one of my favorite accessories. Then he's got a jellyfish, which might be a little too small. They they might have been able to do a little bit bigger, but this is cool. 
Uh, they probably could have did a second one with SpongeBob not having as many accessories. But another one that's really cool, he's got a whole like little character, Bubble Buddy, which came in season two. Pretty cool from the episode Bubble Buddy. And then next up, SpongeBob just got a bunch of like extra hands. And then his final thing, he's got this um, bottle of bubbles. Then he's got him, his hand blowing a bubble or like the bubbles getting formed. And then you've got this face where he is blowing the bubble. And he also comes with his iconic glasses that he's always wearing during his bubble or during his jellyfishing episodes. He is always wearing the glasses. So that's pretty cool. And you can put the glasses on this um, face as well. So that is nice. And this is a definitely a unique head to go with as the alternate. But it is cool. I would like if they made um, like an accessory pack where you get more of his heads. Because that would be something cool. And yeah, I, that's all of his accessories. Now I am going to show you him with this other head on. I'm going to try to get this off. Okay, I want to apologize. I am struggling, and I don't really feel like putting these um, arms on or potentially breaking it. So I am not going to put on the bubble-blowing SpongeBob head on his body right now. And I'm not putting these on the arms because I am really struggling to put these on right now. So instead, uh, while we kind of close up this video, I want to show you some other spongebob things and potentially this is a kind of a little hint at a future video that will eventually happen uh so let's just take a look at some of spongebob's just like merchandise over the years so let's take a look at super seven's reaction line currently i think they've only done four like fig four of the characters in this you got squidward i found this at burlington coat factory for 12.99 not bad when these are normally like $20 figures. Uh, I already showed you this, but SpongeBob, pretty cool. Uh, this is a 20-year-old Pez dispenser I got for $250. Not bad, SpongeBob, pretty cool. Uh, next up, I'm going to show you Squidward from Jax, pretty cool. I used to always play with this. And I have his hat somewhere, I don't know where it's at. I'm going to show you Gary again, which I already kind of showed you in the video. A cool little Gary. Next up, we've got some SpongeBob DVDs, which are very like an iconic thing of SpongeBob just merchandise. The seasons and then the compilation DVDs, Sea Stories is a very iconic one. But a while back ago, I was at Big Lots and I picked up SpongeBob versus the Big One with Johnny Depp and Observing Favorites, just some random episodes. Uh, let's try to ignore Mordecai right now. That's a future video. Yes, they make Spongebob Hot Wheels, Spongebob and Patrick. These are interesting. And finally, to conclude this uh, video, I want to show this gaming Spongebob like controller that has like multiple games on it. This is very iconic, very odd looking, and let's do a little comparison with the hats. Very odd. Uh, there's more that I can show, but right now I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for eventually um, a video where I go over just SpongeBob merchandise and regular show toys. Thank you guys for watching. 